Let's look at the top 10 biggest retirement fears and how to face them. Number 10, inflation. Over time, the purchasing power of your savings can decline significantly due to inflation. Fortunately, there are a few ways to mitigate the effects of rising inflation. One option is to invest in assets that tend to keep pace with or exceed the rate of inflation. For example, you could invest in real estate or stocks. With a little planning, you can help ensure that your retirement savings will hold their value over the long term. Number 9. High Health Care Costs one of the biggest fears people have about retirement is high health care costs. Unfortunately, as we age, we become more susceptible to age-related health problems, which can be both costly and debilitating. However, there are several things you can do to mitigate the effects of high health care costs. Be sure to stay healthy and active throughout your retirement years. Eating right, exercising regularly, and getting regular checkups can help to prevent serious health problems down the road. Also, make sure you have a good financial plan in place. Having a solid nest egg will give you the peace of mind of knowing that you can handle whatever unexpected health care costs come your way. A health savings account is a great way to save up for future medical bills. Not only do these accounts offer tax breaks, but all of the money in them can be used towards medical expenses free of taxes. Number 8. Stock Market Crashes while it's impossible to predict when the market will take a dip, there are steps you can take to mitigate the effects of a crash. One way to do this is to diversify your investments. This means putting some of your money into different types of assets, such as bonds or real estate. This way, if one type of investment takes a hit, you'll still have others that are doing well. Another option is to use dollar cost averaging. This involves investing a fixed amount of money into a security at regular intervals, regardless of the price. This can help smooth out the ups and downs of the market and avoid taking major losses. Finally, remember that stock market crashes are usually temporary. They may be painful in the short term, but over time, the markets have always recovered and gone on to reach new highs. So don't let a crash keep you from enjoying a comfortable retirement. With some planning and preparation, you can weather any storm. Number 7. Children Moving Back Home when children move back home, this can increase household expenses dramatically. There are a few things you can do to mitigate the effects of your children moving back home. First, set some ground rules about finances early on. What expenses will they be responsible for? How much rent will they pay? Having a clear understanding of expectations can help to avoid conflict down the road. Second, consider getting a part-time job or starting a side business. This can help to offset the additional costs of having your children at home. Finally, make sure to keep communication open with your children. If they know that you're working hard to maintain your retirement lifestyle, they may be more sensitive to your needs and be willing to pitch in when necessary. By taking these steps, you can help to ease the financial burden of your children moving back home. Number 6. Taking Social Security at the Wrong Time while the decision about when to start receiving benefits can be complex, there are a few things that can help you make the best decision for your individual situation. First, it's important to understand how your benefits are calculated. If you start receiving benefits before your full retirement age, your benefits will be reduced. Second, you'll want to consider your personal circumstances. If you're in good health and expect to live a long time, you may want to wait to receive benefits. However, if you're in poor health and don't have many years left to live, you may want to start receiving benefits as soon as possible. Finally, you'll need to weigh your financial needs and goals. If you need the income from your benefits to cover basic living expenses, you may not have a choice but to start receiving them as soon as possible. However, if you're able to cover your expenses without tapping into your benefits, you may want to consider waiting so that you can receive the largest possible benefit later on. Making the decision about when to take Social Security can be difficult, but by taking some time to understand the options and weighing your personal circumstances, you can make the best choice for your unique situation. Number 5. No one to take care of finances for many couples, retirement is a time to relax and enjoy the fruits of their labor. However, one of the biggest fears people have about retirement is not having anyone to take care of their finances. Usually only one spouse handles the money, but if that spouse passes away, all the financial responsibility will fall on the other spouse. This can make managing money very stressful in retirement. One way to solve this problem is to start being involved with finances now as a couple. That way you'll be able to handle the money in the future if necessary. By taking the time to learn about your finances now, you can ensure that you'll be prepared for whatever retirement throws your way. 
Number 4. Identity Crisis One of the best ways to avoid an identity crisis in retirement is to plan ahead. Give thought to what you want to do with your time and set some goals. Whether it's learning a new skill, taking up a new hobby, or volunteering for a cause you care about, having something to focus on will help you feel fulfilled and prevent boredom. It's also important to stay socially active in retirement. Staying connected with friends and family can help you feel grounded and prevent you from feeling isolated. And if you're able to stay involved in your community, that can also provide a sense of purpose. Ultimately, the key to avoiding an identity crisis and boredom in retirement is to stay engaged and active. By planning ahead and staying social, you can create a retirement that is both fulfilling and enjoyable. Number three, too much debt. Many Americans say they are worried about being able to pay off their debts in retirement. So how can you get out of debt and avoid future debt? The first step is to create a budget and stick to it. Make sure you include all of your fixed expenses, such as mortgage payments or insurance premiums, as well as your variable costs, like groceries and entertainment. Once you have a good understanding of your finances, you can start looking for ways to reduce your expenses and use this extra money for paying off debt. For example, you might want to consider downsizing your home or getting rid of unnecessary luxuries. Keep in mind, if you have high interest debt, such as credit card debt, it's important to focus on paying that off as quickly as possible. Once you have that paid off, then you can focus on paying off your next high interest debt. Number two, declining health. In addition to fearing health care costs, many people also fear their health declining when they're in retirement. After years of working hard and maintaining a busy lifestyle, many retirees find that their health can begin to deteriorate soon after they stop working. There are a number of ways to avoid being in bad health in retirement. First, it's important to stay active and physically fit. Regular exercise can help to reduce the risk of developing chronic diseases such as heart disease, stroke, and osteoarthritis. In addition, retirees should make an effort to eat a healthy diet and avoid risky behaviors, such as smoking and excessive drinking. Finally, it's important to stay mentally sharp in retirement by keeping up with current events, reading books, and doing puzzles. By taking steps to stay healthy and active, retirees can enjoy a high quality of life well into their golden years. Before I move on to number one, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be the first to see my next money-making video. Number one, running out of money. This is a valid concern as many retirees rely on a fixed income from pensions and social security. However, there are steps you can take to avoid running out of money in retirement. First, it's important to have a clear understanding of your expenses. Make sure to account for both fixed costs such as housing and utilities and variable costs such as healthcare and travel. Once you have a good understanding of your expenses, you can start planning for how to cover them. If you've saved enough to cover your basic living expenses, you may want to consider working part-time during retirement. This can give you extra income to cover unexpected costs or simply to enjoy a more comfortable lifestyle. Additionally, you may want to downsize your home or relocate to a cheaper area. These changes can help reduce your monthly expenses and stretch your retirement savings further. Click the video on the screen to see another money-making video.